in lizards, geckos and animal lizards can have adhesive toe pads. These toe pads contain microscopic hair-like structures called setae which can contain smaller hair-like endings called spatulae. Gecko setae can be branched with many spatula tips whereas animal setae are unbranched with one spatula tip. A skink species Prasinohema virens also has adhesive setae on its feet and these are also unbranched. Animals can have a, great, a, a higher density of setae than geckos and their setae can be shorter and thinner than geckos. Setae can vary between different geckos and the gecko species Nortinus elegans has dense, short and thin setae that aren't greatly branched. Nortinus elegans therefore has setae more similar to animals in some aspects than other geckos do. Animals can still have a greater, dens a greater setae density than Nortinus elegans though. The skink species Prasinohema virens can have setae with a density and diameter more similar to some geckos than animals. Setae in animals Prasinohema virens and geckos have been described as having setae with triangular endings. Although geckos in the family Eublepharidae lack adhesive pads, climbing Eublepharids can have short and branched setae like in cat geckos feet and tail and a Eublepharid cave gecko can have short setae on its feet and tail. The setae on this cave gecko's forefeet can have some branching but not as much as some other geckos. These setae in Eublepharids may be less adhesive than some geckos toe pads, however Eublepharid setae may still enhance friction. Common leopard geckos which are Eublepharids lack setae. Chameleons can also have friction enhancing setae on their feet and tails and, and the tips aren't triangular shaped but have narrow spatula narrow spatula they have narrow spatula which are long relative to their width. Spiders and some insects can also have st structures called setae. In geckos, setae can be made mainly of beta keratin with some alpha keratin and the setae can contain lipids on their surface. Alpha keratin is found in human hair and nails. Beta keratin can be harder than alpha keratin and can be found in geckos skin and birds feathers. Beta keratin can contain sheet-like structures called beta pleated sheets and alpha keratin can contain helical structures called alpha helices. Geckos can actually leave phospholipids in their get sorry, uh, geckos may actually leave phospholipids in their footprints. The tips of ladybird adhesive setae can contain the elastic protein resolin shown in the picture by parts of elastic bands. Other parts of ladybird setae may contain other proteins and chitin. Alpha keratin, beta keratin and resolin are fibrous proteins. Ge uh, sorry, uh, chitin on, is on the other hand a polysaccharide. Beta keratins and reptiles and birds can now be known by other names like keratin associated beta proteins or corneous uh, beta proteins. Geckos and animals can have dry adhesive pads whereas some insects with adhesive setae can use secreted fluid between the setae and surface. 
spiders may also use fluids in their adhesive pads. Spider setae on adhesive pads can be branched though like gecko setae. Frogs can also have adhesive pads that secrete fluid, which is why I drew the frog with watercolour pencils. Frog adhesive pads can also contain nano, nano pillars though. Cetae aren't just present in animals, and cetae aren't necessarily adhesive. Hair-like structures in plants can get called cetae, and then in algae called diatoms, uh, diatoms can have cetae and can form chains by fusing cetae together, so they're sort of like a chain of geckos holding toe pads. Bone loss occurs to humans in space. Geckos have also been to space, and during weightlessness, gecko adhesion can still work. Because of this, geckos can maintain normal locomotion during weightlessness, and this could also reduce the stress of flotation and may lead to less demineralization of bones. Results show evidence for gecko adhesion decreasing bone demineralization during weightlessness. Gecko adhesion also works in a vacuum. Suction cups don't work as well in a vacuum as they normally do, and so cephalopod suckers, like an octopus's, may not work as well in space. Liquids can turn into other states of matter when in a vacuum, and so the fluid in some animals' adhesives may not remain li remain a liquid, may not remain a liquid in space, however I am unaware of if this is the case. Geckos are thought to have evolved adhesive toe pads independently multiple times and independently to animals. Gecko and animal feet have structures called lamellae. I drew fossils contained in amber on a piece of amber. Gecko lamellae and toe pads have been preserved in Burmese amber about a hundred million years ago in the gecko Cretaceo gecko Burme. Gecko toe pads and lamellae have also been preserved in an around 50 million year old gecko fo fossil uh, in Baltic amber, Yan uh, Yantaro gecko Balticus. Anno lizard lamellae and toe pads have been found in Dominican amber 15 to 20 million years ago. Suckers are found in, ce in the cephalopod group Coleoid Coleoidea that includes octopuses, squids and cuttlefish. Suckers have been preserved in the Jurassic cephalopod Mastigophora. The fossil record for cephalopod suckers is therefore older than the around 100 million year old Cretaceo gecko Burmae. Please be aware of the situation in Myanmar with Burmese amber. Now it's time for some speculative biology on a speculative terraform planet on one continent. No reptiles, birds and mammals were taken there and an amphibian evolved scales and shelled eggs to live in desert areas but retained four toes on the front feet. Some of these neoamniotes then moved into trees and evolved adhesive toe pads like geckos with lamellae and dry adhesive pads. To compensate for four toes, the toes are thick with lots of lamellae for better Adhesion. I don't know whether to make the hand a different colour, as orange could indicate toxic, and reptiles overall can have higher metabolic rates than amphibians, and are maybe therefore less likely to evolve poison.